Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning. I am Frozen Melon, and today we team on with our Warrior Warlock Arena run. Now, unfortunately, I did have a few videos that did eventually getting kind of corrupted, as you probably can tell by our wins and loss ratio that we have compared to the last game. One of them pretty much was just the sort of standard opponent weaves halfway through a game. I played another one which we managed to win quite comfortably, and the last one then we did manage to think pick up a loss on it as well, if my memory serves me but I do not know. But yeah, all three of them, I kind of played them one quickly after another because I was on a roll and between that, they were very quick games. But anyway, let's see what we can do with this one. Garrosh versus Raw. Okay, it's a shaman. Fear the coming storm. Victory or death. Yeah, so unfortunately, I am not feeling the best at the moment. Got a bit of a cold and yeah. Hence why I've had kind of a few days off from actually uploading videos as well, because just didn't really have the time to very well. But I'm back, ready to record. Still not feeling 100%, as probably can tell by my voice, but you know. What am I just going to do for the day? I've got nothing else to do now. So it's just kind of boring when you feel ill and you know you've got stuff to get on with, and stuff to do, and you start going through the list of stuff that you want to actually get done and try and get it all done, and you just feel exhausted afterwards. So this is kind of my way of just chilling out, and relaxing for a bit. Well, looks at my opponent. Always oh, little time. Has already left. So this is kind of what I meant by some of the games have just been like, oh. Um, here, because I've got the draw bot by the mech, push that face, because you're going to be tracing into this, it's fine by me. I get three damage, they can still kill my minion. In essence, both those minions go net neutral, which is fine. And again, same principle behind it. I can play my mech. Get another mech. Which, yep. Yeah. <laughs> and push that place. No point in trading into that, even if it is a good trade. My opponent can do it for me. If they make the trade into one minion, what I'll do is a uh, recombobulator on it. So it kind of just stays alive. Uh, I don't have another two drops, so in that case, I'll just play the taunt then. I see that or I tap. You smell like a so, play the biggest thing I got. There's no point in trading there again because the minions aren't really ones I can trade into. I think when I kind of do, it's almost like you do the calculations ahead for it, where it's like, is it worth trading into that minion? Like, what does it do? Like, some cases trading into one one is important to do, but on this at the moment with this having a torn, they're not really being able to get through it in an easy way. It's not really worthwhile. Like, if they're gonna have a spell to kill this, they're already gonna have a spell to kill it regardless. So trading makes no sense. Smart got the damage anyway. If they got to waste their turn trying to use these minions to attack into something, then they can't do anything else other than attack into it. See that? They had the spell anyway, so they still make the trade, that's fine. Now, with that being the case, I can just again push face, play this, and Instead, I would like to play this, but they both trade into it. Playing this can deal with both of those, but tapping just gives me extra resources. So that's what we'll do instead. Save this for surprise burst against my opponent. Better off that way. They look like a deck that's going wide more than anything else, so...
lots of mechs. Now, what do we do here? To be honest, nothing really. Well, if they're going to make trades, they're going to make trades for me. So, got this. Push face. Push face. Play my one drop and draw the rest of my demons from my deck. I guess it's weird, even though I'm drawing like really bad cards from this, it is better off than that than anything else. So. So here it is probably worth making that trade. Because it denies I'm doing other things, and then I can go four, three. Yeah. Play out sticky stuff. So I assume they're looking to try and beat down with this one minion. Oh, hit the mech. Shredder seems pretty good to have. You might feel a little tingle. Just put that up to four. That's a pretty good random three drop we just traded that into, so. Shall we put a kink in your plan? Bring out your dead. And see, now they're just playing out all their stuff, so we just make the trades as necessary. That just goes to there, because it's the best thing I can do. I can take more damage on my opponent, than what I cannot add as card draw, so we kill that off. And play this. Turn turn. I mean, actually, no, I should have played. That if I was making trades, I got loads of leper gnomes. Ah, that's my fault. I misplayed that. I forgot I had the uh, thermo plug. But, oh well. What's that? One attack? That's yeah, fine here. Make that trade. Let's gain some health and life. Final cakes. Get your final cakes here. Play that. Get my cards. At this point, it's a card advantage game against my opponent. The last ditch effort is when they flood the board again and they use everything, and I got a brawl to basically stabilize from there. Uh, them having two ogres. Can they have it? Do they have to duplicate? Another one for all. Yeah, they do. That's fine here. Playing both of those will cause them to lose, so. One day I'll be a real knight. And there's no point in me tapping here. So unless you got a ball clear or a freeze, this should be a win. Now it looks like it is a win from here. You love my new recipe. There we go. Not bad. Nice to uh, get back into the swing of things. But yeah, hopefully I'm feeling a bit better. I'll get more, more consistent recording down. Anyway, if you do enjoy the video, do leave a like, subscribe to see more, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.